Welcome to Like I'm Off to the Flame Studios. Today we're going to do a tutorial on fuming pendants. So there are a couple styles that have been with me for 17 or 18 years. They're awesome money makers. And yeah, here I'm going to share them with you. Start with a 12 7 rod. Clean your end. You want to make a Maria on the end, somewhere between the size of a nickel and a quarter. First, we're going to fume with silver. You can start with either silver or gold. Uh, they both leave different effects. They're both nice. Uh, I kind of prefer the silver first. After we fume with some silver, we're going to back our flame down. Put five three millimeter dots on there. Take some gold. Fume the fit next. Directly on top of those three millimeter dots, now we're going to put a five millimeter dot. Come back with a little more silver. And in between all of those dots that we just did, we're gonna put another three millimeter all the way around. to do a little more gold. And a few more three millimeter dots right around the perimeter. melt all those in and blow off the fume that is not covered in clear glass. After we get the, the dots not all the way melted in, but kind of rounded out, we're going to come around and heat the very face of this. 
and reach in with a cold three millimeter rod and spin all these dots. Then we'll finish melting them all even. Select the backing color. I'm going to use some uh, turbo amethyst on this. Start in the very center and coil your way out to the perimeter of that fume pattern. You've got your back all melted in, we're going to pull off the lens side. Melt your lens down nice and round. And we have a beautiful looking multi petaled flower inside of there. It's really cool. It's kind of got like a vortex center. This one came out really nice. So we'll find out where we want to be the bottom of the pendant and we'll put a money down there so we can stretch our bail.
bend your bail, you want to start at the very where the body of the pendant starts. Let that get hot and bend first. And then just kind of work your way up that piece of glass until it starts curving. Polish your lens. And pull it off. like that. Second pendant is going to be a little larger. We're going to do instead of just one spin, we're going to do three spins, but with more dots involved. Makes for a pinwheel pattern instead of a flower pattern. So because we're adding more dots this time, we're going to make a little bit larger um, Maria to start with. Be definitely the size of a quarter, even a little larger. First few my silver again. This time we'll start with one dot in the center and six all around it. Right in the center. Next we'll fume with gold and then cap with five millimeter dots.
fume again with a little more silver. And three millimeter dots in between all the other ones. And next with just a little more gold. all these in. Not completely because we're still going to reach it and spin some areas of this, but we want to like blow off some of the extra fume and get these rounded out to where they're not just sitting on top of the glass like partially melted in already. So after we do that, we let it cool down just a little bit. We find an area where three of these come together and we're going to spin three, three dots three different times. We go to the next set of three. Final set of three. Now we'll melt these all in, finish melting them all in. So we can put it back on. This time I'll use a heavy blue leprechaun for the back.
Back's mounted in, I pull off the lens side. And After we got our lens melted, we're gonna find the side we want to be the bottom and put our punty there and stretch the bail from the opposite side. Then heating the bale where it connects to the pendant. I'll make it bend first.
Add a little bit of dot decoration on the side. When I look at it, it doesn't, it's not totally even each side, so adding some dots down the lesser side is kind of a good optical illusion, which makes it appear to be more straightened out. Plus, it has a little texture to the pendant, and something a little more unique. Nice. Go back and pull this off. 